Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. Uh, we've really been enjoying this game so let's get right back into it. And when we left off I'm not really sure how we left the ship or how we left the men so we'll take a look here real quick and just make sure that we have everything we need. We're at 464 men of 467. All right, so we're gonna sail to Porto Padre and we'll see you when we get there. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and dock here and we'll see what the informant has to say. He's a terror of the seven seas. This guy is really not worth uh, worth the trouble. This is like the third mission he's had us do for him. And he's really got not much for us. So, but it looks like we've already done that, so we can just return. And we'll speak to him again. Hmm. He doesn't seem to be here. And that pompous idiot sits there instead. That smells like trouble. Apparently he's indisposed. I have a feeling that he's been relieved of his life. Oh man, call me a little tick. Man, that humbles me a little bit. I thought we had some good ships. It'll improve our chances considerably. Did they pay as much as they promised? And every time, I mean, I know we're stacked on gold, but they, uh... Alright, it looks like we need to upgrade our, uh... Upgrade us some uh, more captains here. So we're going to take a look into that. Uh, we're probably going to head back to our pirate cove and see what we can do there. And, all right, welcome back. So we had tried to go to our pirate cove to see what there was to do. There was really not that much to do. Like we have things to do there, but they require a bunch of materials. So we're heading out to actually find another captain for our fleet so that we can uh, get this gathering strength. And we've come across this pirate ship that seems to be quite big. So we will try to take it here. And we'll see what they got. So they've got another Queen Anne. It's a strong Queen Anne. So we will take, hopefully take it and we will replace our pirate galleon for another Queen Anne. All hands on deck. That'll be a good opening shot. And we may just have to take out her sails. Uh, 
Oh, he she can't move. Speed ahead. 112. Oh, man. Just completely ripped open the side of that ship. Uh, we may have to board fast. See, even though she just sitting in the water, she is still pretty dangerous. So how many men she's got? She's got 160 men, and we've got 150. We may try to board a 42% chance. And we failed. Oh, I'm so happy she's not sunk. And we're going to get a 100% chance to board using our boarding frenzy. And we're successful. I think we have less men on this ship. 158, okay. So not that much less. And we failed again. And we're going to be not so hasty. And it's paid off. We're going to go ahead and try to board again. And it was successful. So now we've got all kinds of men on this ship. And we'll go ahead and... And it looks like we've won and we've taken that ship. Just a day's work. And we're definitely going to take over the ship. You guys should, we'll, we'll leave you with the ship too. Let's see, 120 grain, 229 cod liver oil. Wow, these guys have been busy. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out our fleet now. We are going to check out all the ships, and we've got another Queen Anne there. Let's go ahead and assign it. The first thing we're going to want to do is find a port. To go ahead and repair it so well we'll actually just run over here real fast and then we'll continue our look for captains and we'll see what happens I, I really hope I don't have to look all over the map for captains but it may just take us a while to do this so we'll uh, get our ship taken care of and then we'll move on Alright, so check out the tavern here. And it looks like we may have one here. And we'd like to know his name. We don't know this guy. Looks like he needs somebody to sort out his merchant. And now he's going to join our fleet. And, and we've got a new captain. That was awfully quick. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and look at the harbor master here. We don't have any. Uh, what I really wanted to do was look at the fleet here. We'll give him a ship. He's rocking a little flute. So we will give him a pirate galleon and now we've got three ships that is quite impressive from where we were let's take a look 
and see how much value the fleet has now. I thought it would show up instantly, but that's okay. We will, I think we can. I thought that it might show us here. But that's okay. It's not really a big deal. We'll check it out in a little bit. We'll see if we can't find another captain here. Oh, there we are. 3,445. We made some progress, but we'll see you if we uh, find another port with another captain. So we've been going up and down the coast. We finally got to New Orleans here, and uh, we may have ran into another uh, captain here. And he looks like he has an endeavor for us. And it looks like we... Uh, he wants to bring them some food, and he appears to be our other captain. So let's go ahead and take a look at the fleet now. He's got a poor little sloop. I'm sorry, buddy. We don't do those kind of things here. So he's going to have our lowest ship here, the military corvette. Uh, still, I mean, still way better than the ship that he had. So let's go ahead and we'll dock. We will check the harbor master here. And it looks like we can get sails here. Uh, so we will go ahead and look into doing that for all of our ships. Let's go ahead and start with John Bardot's uh, sails here. And it looks like he could get that for defense. He could get additional sails for offense. He can get a rudder for defense. Or a support, he can get a lookout. So we'll go ahead and we just won't get the rudder here. But we'll go ahead and confirm that. That's going to be 22,000. That's uh, quite a bit there. But I tell you what, we will get the Queen Anne. She can have that. Next, we will uh, look at this guy. I don't think he can get it. He might be able to get... Oh, I thought he might be able to get the lookout for the... Uh, that's okay. Let's go to the Pirate Galley and see what they can get. They can get the sails for the additional sales and the lookout, so we'll go ahead and get that for them. Then we'll go to the second Queen Anne here. We'll give this one the rudder. Oh. Actually, we'll make sure that this one has all of it. And it looks like all of our ships are maintained. Uh, the next thing that we want to do here is we're going to want to look at our crew. We have 690 possible men. Well, I'll tell you what, we will go ahead and wait to do that. We'll divide the booty first. And it looks like that's a good call. We've been nine days at sea. We've got four convoys, one ship, plundered 2,790 barrels of wares and obtained 310,000 gold. So we'll go ahead and we'll we'll give them the sixty thousand. We'll just I think that's well, I tell you what we'll give them fifty. And if we can't complete, yeah, just a. That's funny. What if we give them a little? Okay, it's just the nail in the wood. It looks like we'll give them sixty. Not even a gold coin between them. And let's see where that's at. Oh, okay, so that'd be at like a hundred and seventy thousand. Nah, that's okay. Some of these men just signed on. How do they think they're going to get paid already? 
Well, I've got all kinds of experience, so I think we're kind of maxed out there. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Maxed out there. These guys look like they're going to go ahead and get some skills and abilities with that. So we give him... We'll go ahead and get your trick shot up. And he got all kinds of stuff. Uh, so we'll go ahead and heads down, get some lucky shot, and then get... Actually, we just may uh, max this all out as much as we can here. And same thing with this fellow. And we'll go ahead and continue that. All right, so with the articles, let's go ahead. Well, we can't get a new captain. We've already done that. Um, Should have had improved ships. That's silly. Man, all of these are getting to be pretty big. <clears throat> pretty big. They want a lot of stuff. Um, we can go ahead and complete missions. We'll be doing, or we could even just do little small ones as we go in. Uh, to certain places. So let's go ahead and hit the tavern real fast. We will... Oh, I'm sorry. That's not what we meant to do. We will buy around. We'll more top off the troops there. Means more time to drink rum. And Means more first things first, we could go talk to this governor here. He wants some goods. Let's see what he wants. 15 kegs of jewelry. That's a lot. Even if they have jewelry, that's a lot. Yeah, see, they don't. Nobody has jewelry. All right, let's uh, check. See what else he has. And it looks like we can. I think paint uh, that port is actually relatively close. So let's go ahead. What we want to do here Something's missing. Something is take the right one. In the hold. Yeah, see, we are not that far out, so we will go ahead. Oh, I was going to say Spanish. If you want it, we'll, uh, we'll let you get it. So we're going to go ahead and sail out and get these guys here if we run anything on the way. We'll let you know. And as you could have guessed, there was a pirate convoy here. Oh, they are just uh, just below me there. So let's see what we got. We got a pirate galleon. We've got a ship of the line. Those are really good. And then we've got a queen anne. Let's take a look at that ship of the line. 1400, huh? So it looks like these, the queen anne's, are going to be the first ones to engage. We'll hold back the Galleon and the Corvette until we've engaged them, but we will try to stop one of their big ships. We'll just have to see how this goes. Alright, so they get the first move. That's fine. Let them uh, close the gap here. I can. This is the one I want to stop. We might be trying to take a new ship here. Alright, Walsh. You have got some serious firepower, my boy. Could get some chain shot here. 
really want to, but this uh, this shot right here is too good not to not to take. All right, we got 17 on the first ship, and then 72 on the second ship. All right, so this is going to be the new captain. He's got one of the smaller ships here. I really don't want to engage like that. Maybe, maybe we'll have to. Well, we're going to do that. Guaranteed direct hit. Uh, let's try to take the rest of that armor out. And it looks like we've almost sunk her. Alright, and now that we've got some actual... Uh, now that we've got some actual skills here... This should go a little bit better for us. That might be fun. Let's get him a fireboat. Let's see if we can take it out with a fireboat. That'd be uh, that'd be sweet. Oh, so close, so close. I did not necessarily mean to end my turn like that, but that's okay. to sink that one in one shot. Kind of even the uh, playing field a little bit. And they're just going to come about and hit that ship. I'm really glad that I took the lower damage point there. We're trying... I don't really want to use the same sign, although those cannons are really good. There we go. We'll try to come about. Oh, and we're still going to hit them on the other side. That's uh, foolish of me. Alright, well, we'll just stop him. Actually, you know what? We will prepare that volley to see if they will come on the other side. They may. I don't want that. Now, my next priority is knocking out this ship. But I don't think we'll have a good shot on her. So we may just have to go for this one. And we can hit that. I'm just afraid we're going to hit our own ship. But we did take a shot similar to this earlier, and we did not hit a ship, so. Well, there you go. Let's guarantee direct hit that so that we uh, don't hit or hurt ourselves. Alright, so it's time to move this one out. And I really want the smaller ships kind of away uh, from this mammoth here. We'll try to move these guys in. And we're going to do... Actually, we'll just do a regular shot there. And I did 33. Alright, so we'll have the large ships engage here. All right, 
and as you can see the sails are torn so it's got lowered movement it's got no turning since the wheels damage the sail structure means it loses another movement uh, let's go ahead and rock his armor plating and he's lost a couple men there and they're just blowing holes in the ship And every time, I don't want to use the unloaded side. I would like to use the loaded side of my cannons, please. So we'll pull him back uh, so you can try to come about and get a better shot, and get a better angle, rather. So we'll move this fella out so I don't like how close he is to that other ship. And we're going to go ahead and rock this guy's armor as well. Make him think about what he's done to us. And I know what I just said about moving this one out, but to get a shot, we got to move this one in, so... And I may try to take... <laughs> I'm honestly thinking about trying to take both ships now. I could have those two ships board this ship, and then I could have the two strong ships uh, board this hundred. They only have 137 men left, so it's not completely obnoxious to try to do that. Well, and he is, he is uh, giving us a beating there, so we may have to just send those other two ships a running. Uh, let's see. I can't uh, board. I think this one's too far out. Let's see if we can't. That'll have to work. And... We'll fire a volley at them, yeah, and they definitely took a good hit there. Let's see how many men they have. They have 156. We've got 70 and 150. Yeah, I think we're just going to try to board these ships. I do not want to board that ship. And we fail. No Thirty-two percent, we failed. Right. All right. Well, this ship is going to get boarded for sure. Eighty-two percent, and we're successful there. All right. So now to the bloody business of the day. He is still being mean to us. Uh, let's go ahead. Alright, we're going to try to board this one again. Alright, so our largest ships are tied up here. And failed again. And it failed again. How many times do we need to fail that? And it looks like we've taken his ship there. Uh, what I would like to do is try to board this one. I don't care if all four ships have to try to board this one. We are going to board her. We'll show them how it's done right. And we'll do it again. We will... Uh, And there we are. There's a successful board. These guys are the only people that can jump on a ship, apparently. Finally. I almost fell asleep. 
I'm not sure what the keg of rum does. Let's take a look here. Gains 20% morale, so that's okay. We don't need the morale right Come now. On. The cowards are already diving overboard. Take your best sailors and grab their cargo. Show them what real courage means. And now, of course, we have swarmed them. And we've won the battle. Alright, so it's time to take over the ships. We've got another Queen Anne and a ship of the line. So an interesting thing about ships of the line, I didn't know uh, that eventually their the tactics for uh, naval combat was they would put these ships literally in a line, and uh, that's why they have like you have first through sixth rate ships of the line, first being the best, sixth being uh, the worst, but they are still warships, so. They are still, uh, you know, to be looked out for. But alright, so here we are. We're going to go ahead and take a break, see what we need to get started on next, and we'll let you know when we're there. And so we've decided that we're going to go ahead and take a look at our ships here. Oh, I'm sorry. We need to uh, go back to the fleet view here. And we need to change out some of our ships. So the ship of the line. Just go ahead and uh, actually, what I want to do is make the rascal a ship of the line. And then Queen Anne, Queen Anne. And you can have the other Queen Anne. So you just got a bunch of Queen Anne's here. And then we'll go ahead and go to the Harbor Master. We'll go ahead and repair our ships. Go ahead and look at the tavern, see how many men we're at. We're at 989. And we'll go ahead and buy a round, top Everyone off our men. Me. You're a good and we've got just under a thousand men. And I think right there is a good point to stop. Uh, so when we come back, we'll look at some more missions and see where to go from here. If you made it this far, thanks for watching.